Vaxil is developing a revolutionary new treatment for cancer called Imusin. Imusin is a new type of drug called a therapeutic vaccine. A therapeutic vaccine teaches the body's immune system to attack and destroy the bad cancer cells, while the good healthy cells are left untouched. So the treatment has very low side effects like any other vaccine. And, at the same time, because the treatment only attacks the cancer cells, it promises to be much more effective. So what is the difference between Vaxil's therapeutic vaccines and conventional vaccines? A conventional vaccine teaches the body's immune system to defend against specific bacteria or viruses which are foreign to the body and can cause disease. They are also given to healthy people. By contrast, a therapeutic vaccine is given to sick people to make them well. So it is really the same as a drug. Of course, it is more complicated than this because when it comes to cancer, the body's immune system has a problem. Cancer is a disease made by the body itself when cells start dividing and replicating uncontrollably. Unlike bacteria and viruses, which are foreign to the body, Cancer cells are the body's own cells which have gone wrong, and the immune system finds it hard to respond effectively. This is made worse by the fact that a cancer patient is already very sick, and their immune system has already been compromised, both by the cancer itself and more often than not by the treatments. What makes a therapeutic cancer vaccine so extraordinary is that it takes a sick person and teaches its immune system that whenever it sees a cancer cell, it should send immune cells called T-cells to attack it and destroy it. A therapeutic vaccine teaches the T-cells to search for specific markers which appear on cancer cells. The T-cells destroy only those cells with the marker that is the cancer cells. Vaxel's lead product, Imusin, teaches the T-cells to attack cells which display a protein called MUC1. This protein is typically made by cancer cells. But best of all, 90% of cancer cells make it. So if it works for one cancer, Imusin should work for 90% of cancers. However, Imusin also has two key advantages which completely differentiate it from other products in development. Firstly, Imusin is applicable to nearly all of the population. A therapeutic vaccine has to activate the patient's immune system in a very fundamental way, and every person's immune system is unique and reacts slightly differently. It is no simple matter for one medicine to provide a solution for billions of different immune systems. The second advantage is tumour escape. We all know how cancer often becomes resistant to the treatment. And then you try another treatment, and the cancer becomes resistant to that treatment, and so on until there is nothing left to try. This occurs largely because cancer cells have the ability to hide from the treatment and even to mutate. This is called the tumour escape mechanism. Imusin has been designed to detect the cancer cell's attempts to escape and to overcome it by attacking it in different ways. So the cancer should not become resistant to treatment. Imusin is currently being tested in a clinical trial on cancer patients with multiple myeloma, a cancer of the blood, for which there is no real cure. Vaxil is planning to try it on other cancers which produce MUC1 in the near future. If all goes well, Imusin will go through more clinical trials but could be available on the market in six to seven years and this will be a revolution in the way cancer is treated. Imusin was discovered using a technology that Vaxil developed called VaxHit. VaxHit has very wide applications and has been used to discover new potential vaccines for other diseases such as AIDS, malaria and tuberculosis. Vaxil is currently testing a new vaccine for TB, but this is the subject of another film.